sorry, I was trying to see if my light was on. So, welcome back to the Seventh House Art Studio. Um, I have a canvas here. I can't remember what size it is. Hold on. Twelve by sixteen. First, I want to start off by getting this great tip from D at Abstract and Flow using the wrapper that the canvas came in to help protect my table. So good idea, D. So tonight is going to be an acrylic pour, I guess. I am using this uh, purplish blue. It doesn't have a name, but it came in a color pour kit. And I am using Craftsmart Metallic Blue. Um, Anita's All Purpose Acrylic in Dew Green. Don't have my glasses on. And um, I found this in my kid's stash that she's had for a while. It's from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts Store. So I'm not sure how old it is. It is called Terracotta. So let's see what happens with that. Okay, once again, I forgot to plug in my hair dryer. Pardon me. You now my hair dryer is just a regular hair dryer and I put a piece of tape on it. So because before it was the opening was so big that it was just blowing out like big blobs so this seemed to help and i hope it doesn't come off oh and also in all of my colors i'm using the uh, silicone oil so here's my big batch of white paint that i made up let's go ahead and do the negative color which is going to be white I think I am too thick, which leads me to another tip. I am nowhere near a sink, so I keep a bottle of water here for emergencies to thin out the paint. Still not sure if that's thin enough. Let's try some more. So if it's too thick, it's not going to flow too good. And of course, shaking it up right now is going to be a lot of air bubbles in it. Oh, it's still kind of thick. We'll try to make it work. I'm going to make it too thin, and I end up making it too thick. Yeah. Let's do something about that. That sounds better. <clears throat> now that's a lot better, but hopefully it mixes well with what's too thick. if you all caught my uh, last video with my 
abstract nude that I did. I really like how it turned out. I'm not left-handed. Trying to turn that off with my left hand, it wasn't working out. So the last video I did was an abstract nude. It's the first one I've ever done. Check it out. I really like how it turned out. I've used all neutral tones. Okay, let's pop out these air bubbles. Hopefully I don't run out of butane. Now there's a lot of air bubbles because I had to mix up some more paint, thin it out. The problem with if you don't pop your air bubbles like this, they will pop when they're drying and leave little pits in your painting. And you get so aggravated. It would be a gorgeous painting and have these stupid little pits in it. Or cat hair. And there's a lot. So who else has problems with their pet hair getting into the painting? Where's my tissue? <clears throat> okay. So if you're wondering why I don't show my face in these videos, usually the only time I get to paint is later in the evening when I've already worked all day and you have ran the kid to soccer practice or a soccer game and I am just look frazzled. Okay, so I think on this one I am going to do kind of like lines going up instead of straight across or in the middle. So let's see what happens. First I'm going to start off with um, maybe metallic blue. Maybe I'll alternate. So just like a short one and then a long one and another short. And Well, that didn't turn out short, did it? I always like to keep a little bit in the cup in case I like want to do a touch up. In case I want more color somewhere else after I've blown it out. <clears throat> Then we'll start with the Dew Green next. I love it when that happens, when it dribbles. So annoying. And this unknown color, but it's so pretty. And then the yeah. okay, so let's do an alternate shorter lines here with reversing the colors. I didn't put this green. What is this? I have no idea what green this is, but I had it set aside. I don't know about this terracotta.
Okay. Put a little bit of metallic blue. bright green. Oh, I hope this isn't too much paint. All right, so tonight I'm not using the hair dryer. I'm using this little mini dryer or blower that my boyfriend got me. So let's see how this works. You can see my face now. I'm like, ugh. Whoa. Okay, this isn't working out too good. Okay, stop. This is weird. Alright. I think it's because I did not blow the paint over first. Oh, a lot of splatters. I'm not hating it, but I got an awful lot of splatters up here that I don't like. Cells are popping up pretty good. And the terracotta mixed in pretty good. Um, I need a little less power, so I'm breaking out the straw. Let's see. The, print, the colors mixed well, and I like the design, but I'm not loving all that splatter. What to do? Oh, okay, let's first torch the air bubbles out. fingers are stuck together. <laughs> Alright, where's my white? <clears throat> Do I like the splatter? Does it make it seem more less rigid? More free? Hmm. I think maybe I do. I don't mind the splatter so much. Kind of looks like it. It is like evaporating up there. I don't know, or setting itself free. I think I'll leave the splatters. I kind of like it. All right, let's bring you down. Oh, let's torture it a little bit more. 
I didn't think the terracotta would work at first, but I think it was a nice contrast to the blues and greens. Okay, here we go. A little different design instead of straight across or in the middle. I kind of like it. I have one, two, three, four lights on in this room and the light on my camera. And I, it still looks dark. I like that. There's the splatters. It just looks wild and crazy. It's like, like it's trying to escape. I don't know. I, I like I like it. Uh -huh. So, what am I going to do with all this? So, let me see. I think... <clears throat> Hold on. Grab a little eight by 10 canvas here. And use up this paint. So you get two for one tonight. If I can adjust my camera. Try to move this over. Okay. Here we go. Do some white. The only thing I don't know if this is going to turn out really great is that I did not prime the canvas straight out of the package and not primed. So, should be interesting on how it dries. I don't want to get any paint on this, so that's why I'm not blowing it. What the hell is that? Some black paint on this thing. Ugh. Let's try a different one. What's going on? This is not working out. Why is red coming off? Is that actually red from that? That's absurd. Oh well, okay. So it might cover itself. Alright, so let's do hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this one like a classic straight across. I just don't like to have a bunch of leftover paint sitting around sitting around. Three cats, that's not a good idea. Ooh, that's a lot of that. I probably should have put this terracotta in the middle somewhere. All right. <clears throat> Get the mini... Mm. I don't want it to blow over on that. OK. 
come on. There you go. Okay, let's torch it. A lot of air bubbles in that white still. All right, here we go. Ooh, that was a lot of paint. More splatters. Know how much you can glob this up? Whoa, that's a little bit of glob. You can glob this up and it will look real thick and chunky. And you think, that's way too much paint. But it will dry flat. So, there you go. So let me know what you think and sorry I keep hitting the camera. Let's see. Okay, I should probably just leave it alone. I tend to do that, overdo it. So, once again, thanks for joining me on the Seventh House Art Studio. And please subscribe. We all love our subscribers. And like and share. And remember to check out Abstract and Flow. She's got a lot of good ideas. So, I mean, it's got a lot of good cells and a lot of, I mean, the colors worked out pretty good, but I don't like the design a whole lot. Maybe I'll fiddle with it some more. This big one turned out pretty neat, pretty decent. I hear my ceiling fan. Duk, 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 duk. All right, well, please like, share, ah, like, share, and subscribe. And have a great night.